just a good old boy. Not a good day. Not a good day. Um, this is something I've got to work on here in a minute. Uh, we've got somehow another hay guy in here. I have no clue how. And it's wrapped around the pickup reel, so I've got to pull these bands off. Some of these teeth are messed up. Put new teeth on it, cut the hay out. I've also been working on this thing, the do it. Uh, last week we used it to fluff hay with, and since last year we uh, noted that uh, we have not really used this tractor in the field a whole lot since we bought it a few years ago because it didn't have one of these. Uh, we actually found a Massey Ferguson one that would fit this tractor. So we uh, cut it off, made it shorter, and got it to work on here. So now we've been using this thing to Ted Hay. Uh, last week I used it quite a bit. This line right here blew off last week. Then this one blew off when my grandpa was trying to rake hay with it. Uh, when we were doing a lot of that hay, uh, it was in one field, and we decided we was going to pull the rake up there and use it. But that one blew off after that one this one come off when i was fluffing hay right here and then this one blew off the holes hoses were old because i mean like i said we haven't really used the draw bar for anything so we hadn't been using the auxiliary hydraulics hardly none other than the loader stuff which is all new uh relatively newer hoses i mean they're not the originals anyway um, but there's some of those need replacing too but those are were the original hoses that come on it and they blew off so got those fixed this morning put back on hoping to ted hay here in a little bit i've got to go deliver some hay too uh, i've got to call you're probably wondering what's wrong with the mccormick uh, because i didn't really show y'all but here is the clutch pack for the pto uh, one side of it. This is the 1000 side that we had rebuilt last year uh, We've taken these clutches clutch apart because it quit pulling and They're scorched on this side. They're black. Let me show y'all What I mean by that If you notice This side's a little might be able to tell on camera. I don't know this side's a little lighter brown and this side's black That means they're scorched um so yeah, we, that's, uh, let's see, this was like, so, it was not like that, so, don't want to get it, don't want to get this out of order, so that way we know how to do that again. Um, so I got to call and order all new clutch discs now. It has another one of these for the 540 side. Uh, we did not replace it last year because mccormick did not tell us there was two sets of clutches for this tractor one for the 540 and one for the 1000 the main drive if i'm not mistaken runs off of the 1000 side and then it goes down to the 540 so the actual main drive was what was burned up last year now the 540 side is completely going out and it won't turn anymore um and we just threw it back together last year because we needed it in a hurry and it didn't look that bad on the 540 side figured it would hold together and it didn't so now we've got to put a 1000 in and a 540 in this tractor this wonderful ball of joy uh and gotta fix that now so now we're down the mccormick's down again as usual every time you get it out and it actually work the thing like it should be worked for the size tractor it is other than pulling a 300 gallon sprayer um something breaks on it so that's what that is so i'm getting old duts ready to go because we are definitely going to have to have it this week because that one went down i uh, got the 383 hooked up cleaned up or washed the windows on the outside and he's cleaning on the inside somebody didn't do a very good job cleaning the thing not going to name any names uh so uh got it ready to go fluff hay today I gotta get this one ready to go fluff hay today. I gotta fix that baler, which we're about to do. Um, and then we're gonna go try to fluff some hay here in a few minutes. So 
let's get to it i've got also got to call mccormick i got our clutch kits for this thing try to get the clutch kits here as quick as possible get the stupid thing back in the field so it can break again okay now that we uh know that there's something wrong with the mccormick that said the other day this thing kept acting weird it seemed like it wanted to eat hay like it should Uh, now we might know why. The PTO was probably cutting out on that tractor and not pull it turning like it should and it kept slowing down more than it should. And it's hard to tell with these because they, if it's doing it a little bit, not much, because they have a flywheel and they'll turn their cells to a certain point and they catch and then it wouldn't turn. So that may be why when we were in such heavy hay, this thing wasn't uh, eating hay like it should. It's because it wasn't spinning at the rate it was supposed to be spinning. Just a thought. Not 100% sure, but it's a pretty good possibility. All right, got the bands back on, three new teeth. Uh, and everything seems to be fine. I tightened the chains up a little bit on it. Uh, from where it got stressed seemed like they loosened up some so retighten them up um, probably gonna be using 383 instead I ain't gonna have time to hook the duets up and everything else I've got to go I gotta get this hay took to this lady and then I gotta get back and go fluff hay there's other fluffer I gotta just need to hook it up right quick but one man show today ain't got no time or to do it even if five minutes it takes to do it i just don't have the time to do it so it is what it is got the field we're fluffing hay now uh, this stuff is thick some good heavy hay here today Hoping to square bale some of this and roll part of it on on this farm. Uh, don't really know how many square bales we'll get off of it. Just depends on how much we can get hauled and how quick and how smooth things goes. Uh, and then we'll roll the rest, put it up. A um, little bit of ag news uh, that found out uh, the last couple days that the uh, Japanese are opening up their markets back to the U.S. beef, which is good. Um, it's also very unreliable because the Japanese have done that movie all around here. I ain't got to put this camera today, so I'm having to hold it so that the, the Japanese are, are really unreliable when it comes to beef here and buying it from the U.S. It seems like they'll, they'll do this every so often. They'll open back up to accept meat from the U.S. and then all of a sudden they decide that, well, we don't want to do that in the morning and they shut it off. Um, so it's... We'll see. It should help the market anyway in the short term. It should help with the futures and everything and then the... Uh, Hopefully long term it will and it'll help drive the price back up some just to get a little bit of relief on the producer side on the cow and calf market to help us out a little bit. It sure would be nice. So it been kinda in a bad slump for a long time now. So it definitely hoping that it will turn out for us to be a good thing. Um, good trade negotiation deals got it done. Um, also, the, the new uh, trade deal with Canada and Mexico was signed this week, so I'm interested to see how that's going to go, because supposedly there's going to be no tariffs on any sides, um, so it'd be fair trading for all farmers across each border, supposedly. We'll see. You never know. Sometimes you get those sneaky tariffs in there somewhere, but um, hopefully everything will stay fair and even. And just let the 
product speak for itself and sell itself. Um, and I think that's the best way to do it. Just let the product sell itself no matter where you're from. And then if your product's not good enough, make it better. I think that's the best way to handle it. The best way to that's the market drive and go. And did I mention this place is a little rough? And then uh, hopefully we'll all get better together and make good money together. I just wish all the farmers could make get a big pay increase. I was joking with Dad the other day, and we was in tractor supply, and I was looking around at the prices on everything in there, and it seems like just with everything, everywhere you go, in the last two years, everything's went up 50% cost on everything. Whatever it is, or at least a 25% increase. I was joking, Dad. I told him, I said, we ought to jack our hay up 50%. Say, we're selling it at that. That's just what it's going to be. I told him, I said, by Christmas, uh, we'll be about right with all the price increases, the way things keep going up, with what we actually need to make. He said, good luck selling it. I, I laughed, which is true. You couldn't ever sell it. Hopefully, we'll get some hay made tomorrow. I'm hoping to roll what I want to roll in this section of this field tomorrow. Then square Thursday, square Friday, uh, yeah, square Friday and then roll again Saturday is what I'm hoping to do. Um, and then we'll be able to get it up the way I want to get it up and I'll be able to get me actually some a large amount of square bells up which is what I want to do. I want to get up some squares. A lot of them because this is this is fescue. Uh, my customers, for some reason, they love fescue hay. So that's what I'm trying to get up for them uh, and get it put in a bale. So that way we'll have plenty this winter along with what we get off the second cut too from the crabgrass Bermuda as well. And then I'll have a somewhat of a variety of mix to sell somebody prefers one or the other because I have some customers that really love crabgrass slash Bermuda hay. Then I got some that really love the fescue and they don't really want crabgrass Bermuda hay. Um, so so it's, it's kind of uh, down the middle so I kind of want to try to get up enough fescue hay this year um, to where we can meet that need. And the other thing too is I don't want to rebale any hay this year. I do not want to rebale any more hay unless I absolutely have to. I hate it. Uh, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.